I wanted to participate in, uh, in the legal pursuit of those rights because I knew that the only way things would change was through the law. Influenced by major civil rights cases from Plessy versus Ferguson to the Voting Rights Act, Elliot Hall has spent a lifetime using the law to improve the lives of others. He graduated from Wayne State Law School during the turbulent 60s. He vividly remembers the 1967 rebellion. Courts were open that week 24 hours a day. So that Monday, at the beginning of the riot, I received a 24-hour pass. They arrested 10, 11,000 people and couldn't find a place to put most of them. We ended up putting a lot in the Belle Isle bathhouse during the week because they ran out of jail space. Throughout his career, Hall has been able to smoothly navigate and excel in all areas of the law. As a criminal defense attorney, a partner in his own firm, corporation counsel for the city of Detroit, a Wayne County assistant prosecutor, and senior partner with a major firm, he's even done pro bono work for the Black Panther Party. As president of the Detroit branch of the NAACP in the mid-70s, Hall fought for fair treatment by the police and he chaired the annual Freedom Fund Dinner. But he was a realist who knew you had to work both outside and inside the system to make real change. Sometimes when you try to work outside the system, those within the system resent you and make it much more difficult for change to occur because you're always beating on the door. Sometimes you have to um, compromise with people and work with people to uh, make them realize that the result you're seeking is a just result for everybody. Paul made no secret that he had mayoral aspirations after Coleman Young retired, but then destiny called. Ford Motor Company offered him a position as VP of Government Affairs. He would be the first African American to hold the post. Dad worked in the foundry and the furnace room of the Ford Motor Company. I watched him leave the house many a day with a lunch bucket in his hand and his overalls going to work. Here was the son of a foundry worker being asked after he had been encouraged by his family to get his best in education you could so you could take advantage of what was occurring in, in society, particularly in Detroit. Got a call, said, you've been elected vice president of the company. I got up from my desk, I left the office, and I drove to the cemetery where my father was buried. And I stood in front of his grave and talked to him as though he were alive. I said, Dad, let me tell you what happened today. Because I know the years you spent working in the foundry, they just elected me the vice president. As Ford's man in Washington, Hall became a power broker on a national scale. But he remained dedicated to supporting nonprofits with a particular commitment to the arts. Hall also served as vice president of Minority Dealer Development, increasing the number of minority and women dealers to 260. Over the years, Elliot Hall has helped so many people in so many ways, it's not surprising that he once considered going into ministry. And how does it feel to be named a distinguished warrior? When the Lord gives you talent, uh, he expects you to use it. So when you're recognized for doing something that you ought to be doing, uh, I'm honored, but, but I think that's what you ought to do. You, you ought to do what you you have been sort of blessed to do.